I love the checklist idea. I also love that you have a hard copy of it as well so that people don't uh, lose it. Well, uh, it, it's funny that you bring that up because we're now in a digital age and people don't like paper. They're like, oh, you killed trees. And I said, yes, I did. Would you still do it? 2023, would you still kill trees? You know, three pages. I said, yes, I would. Yes, I would. And here's the reason why. If everything in your world is electronic and you're completely paper free and you hired somebody, what do you want at the end? You want proof of purchase. This is also their receipt. I write paid in full right here and I circle it. You paid me all the money. This is your receipt. Do whatever you want with it for taxes. But what happens is this. If you go to a store right now and someone gives you a receipt, then you say the purchase is complete, right? If they don't give you a receipt, you're like kind of like, well, we'll look it around. Like, it, are we done? Is that is that everything? And I can't tell you how many house cleaners have left a house cleaner's house, I mean, a, a homeowner's house. And the homeowner is like, did, did my house cleaner come? Like, what did they do? I'm really unclear if they're done with the job or did they get called out early or mm -hmm. what did they do? Well, the checklist tells you exactly what I did. This also is my satisfaction guarantee. Because if I went through your whole entire house and today one room of your house, like your toy room was extra dirty and I wasn't able to get to your toy room because we spent all the time cleaning the other messy rooms of your house, I'm going to circle this and I'm going to say not touched, not touched. I didn't do it today. We did not have time. And then you can't call me back on the satisfaction guarantee because what? I didn't check it off. Not touched means I didn't get it done. So what does that mean? That means next time you got to clean up and pick up the toys so that I can get in there so that the satisfaction guarantee. Only what's checked off is the satisfaction guarantee. People don't call us back and go, well, my toy room is still messy. It is messy. Not touch. We didn't, we didn't touch it. We didn't turn it up. <laughs> right? So it clarifies and it sets boundaries and it keeps things super simple. And so the systems that you have in your business as an entrepreneur, especially if you're your own business, from my perspective, is it's only as simple as the people that can make it work. And it's got to be so simple that everybody does it and everybody knows how to do it and that everybody's doing it the same way. Right. That's so important. Yeah, to do things the same way. In real estate, I know a lot of real estate professionals have um, closing coordinators or assistants to help them with the paperwork aspect of it. So working off of a, of a checklist that helps you communicate, sets expectations for what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and you can track the progress of it, know where everybody stands, what the next step is. It's a really valuable tool in real estate too, having some checklists in place. Yeah, I've, I've noticed through the years um, that, you know, when you go through buying and selling homes over and over and over, uh, there are things that just come up every single time. And to create a checklist of that and help people walk through and navigate those waters, it's like, hey, there's going to be a boulder there every time, and here's the way around it. Uh, and well, we still run into it every day where people are like, no, we don't want to follow your process. We want to do something else. And uh, you know, you would think somebody who's navigated that path and done it hundreds of times um, might have an easy way around that obstacle. And uh, so we still run into that. We have checklists for everything in real estate. And one of the things that we find a lot is when we send a digital version, it's like we never sent it. People have no idea what we're talking about. We'll send them a digital version of the next steps. And they're like, we don't know what we're doing. We have no idea where we're at. Well, when we actually print it and hand it to them, um, people are, are able to follow a process really easy. They have it physically. And there's, there's something about having something tangible, I think, with those lists um, of just here are the next steps, you know. Hang this on your refrigerator. 